For those of you who are new to our wonderful Green Branch, make sure you look down in the description to see exactly what points in the video are important to you. So that way you can fast forward and skip. Enjoy the video guys. Today we're going to be kind of bringing you guys a little beginner's guide for Age of Wushu. Just want you guys to, you know, so that we can really delve into this thing and not be so intimidated because it's a, it's, it's a high learning curve. Um, so what we're going to be doing, checking out our scripts right now. And our, all your scripts are is your storyline. It's your backstory and pretty much where you're going to be starting. Um, Phoenix Pledge is uh, the first one. You start off in Kling Ding Town. God, I'm tearing that in half. Uh, you can read all these things and, and, and pick one for yourself that you feel would fit your character. Because that's really what Age of Wushu is about. It's about making your own martial arts character. Uh, your own kung fu Jet Li type deal, if you will. So, I, I, they're all pretty cool. Scholar's Legend is the one that, that takes place in the major city of Chengdu. Um, that's one of the newest ones that's come out, but I like to do just to kind of show people what what the game is like. I like to take them to Yanyu Villa, so that's where we're gonna go now. Um, this is the character creation screen. You, you can mess around with this. You can pick a face. You can I'm just gonna randomize this thing, make this guy look weird. That beard is baller though. I want that beard again. Where was it? Where was it? That thing was legit. We're not going to get the beard. So we're going to move on. Enter name. What shall we call our Chinese friend here? We're going to call him... No, no, no. We can't call him that. Let's call him... Uh... This is actually my 15th time trying this name. So we're just going to see what happens. Wow. So, we're going to go ahead and get in on this thing. Ah, man. How was your day-to-day, -day, Ariel? It was actually pretty good. Thanks for asking. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, check that out. So, what we've got here is just the kind of a control mode options. Control mode options. Wow. Control really control mode options you have the normal one which is of course you strafe with w with i'm sorry with q and e and you move forward with you know w and s and backwards that's lame we're just going to go with the special mode which is actually probably going to be more of what you're uh, you know what you're used to more so than the normal mode so we're going to go with special confirm that now this is the experience guide and it's gonna be up here at all times. You've got you've got two little you've got this guy and he tells you where to go. And right now it's telling us to click on Jigong Elder. Um, we're not really gonna spend too much time on this because this area is really self-explanatory. Uh, you talk to this guy pretty much the way you talk to people is you right click on him and you left click on the what you wanna say. You pretty much wanna stay at the top most of the time. This is our skill book here. You can open that by pressing K, and also it's down here on your taskbar down here. But right now it wants us to click here. Yeah. So we're going to click that there. And it's talking to us about cultivation points. That's coming here in a minute. So I'm just going to kind of skip this whole thing yeah. here. Now, we're going to talk to him one more time because that's what our quest wants us to do. Now, the real cool feature that I really love in this game is that you can just click on the next quest person and your character will run. I am doing this with no hands, okay? No hands, off the keyboard. I think I may need to go use the restroom, but I'ma hold it for you guys. Hey guys, this is Ariel, and I just wanted to pick up where Love left off and talk to you guys about questing. Um, you can obviously, when you first start, you will have some quests at the beginning where, you know, you'll have to complete those, but once you run out and you can't find any more in the city that you're in, if you want to keep questing in that city, you may not be able to find any, and I ran into this problem when I first started playing. Um, I later found out that you can hit L to bring up your quest, your quest log, 
And if you go over to recommended, and usually in the city that you're in, they will suggest some quests for you to for you to do that you may not have seen. So you can just go through these and then choose the ones that uh, if you don't want to work on your reputation with them, um, some of them just you know don't have this little bottom part so you can run to them and just grab the quest. If you do want to work on your reputation with them, I've heard that you can give them uh, give the NPC gifts such as wine and that'll help increase your reputation. Um, so, so yeah, you can do that if you run out of quests to do. And then also, if you're running through the town, and you see, you usually want to go after these, um, these little icons or whatever that have the yellow scroll. The ones that have the blue scrolls are either for, for like a, for like a life skill, or it could be a daily or repeatable, um, quest. So after you are questing, or another thing I want to talk about is life skills. And with life skills, let's pull up my life task thing. And you can see all of the life skills that I have so far. I would suggest going for being a chef because um, chefs make food and you really need food because uh, as you can see, this nutrition is really is what keeps your health um, up. So when your nutrition is low, I think below 20, you your um, HP starts going down. And in order to help it go back up, you need food. And you cannot buy food from NPCs. You can only buy it from other players. So either you should be a chef or have chef friends or you can go to stalls and buy food from other players uh, also you know there's lots of other things you can be a tailor or a painter and um, there's lots of things that you can do that are beneficial in different ways we, we will make another video talking about life skills but for now you can choose or you can find you know once you decide which life skill you would like you can find the person who teaches it by clicking on on your map life shifu and finding them and then uh, just uh, running to them and training in that skill thank you Ariel for that awesome awesome little little tidbit of tips for us all right, guys, now we're going to go and have a little chat about some schools. Just so, just, just so that way you guys can get a little gist of what what the schools kind of are. Um, some schools are more, I guess you could say, immoral than others. I don't want to say evil because that's not quite the name for it to me that the people are. It's more immoral than actually evil. Um, you do kidnapping. Some 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 schools like it that you kidnap, and of course, some schools don't like it. So there's different penalties, different things for different things, different strokes for different folks. But we're gonna go take a look at them real quick. We just gotta wait for Hung Wei Lo to get all the way to the guy, so that way we can actually talk to him. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about while we're on our way there is the flying skills. Now, the flying skills you can. You, you'll, you'll be getting your first one from your your main story. Um, you'll fall down a well. You'll 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 see. While you're doing your main story, you'll get your first flying skill. Now the rest of them, like such as your third flying skill, fourth and fifth, all come from instances. So you can come down here. You'll see all these different instances. You'll hit in. Go to your faction tab. So let me do that again. Hit in. Go all the way down to the far right to your faction tab. Man. I'm not trying to talk to you right now, dude. I'm doing a video. Dang. Excuse him. He's rude. So what you want to do is you want to come over here to the faction, far right, grab the thing, pull it down. Down here, you will see all these different little things that us low levels can do. Now, we go, these are different factions. Um, the one here in Yanyu Villa, I believe, is Salt Gang. So we'll just click on them, see what they're talking about. Um, right now, don't really have any relationship with them don't really have anything to do with them right now later on I will uh, this is some of the things that some of the bosses will drop whirlwind step which is kinda like a third a third jump 
um, jump across the cloud, I believe, is a dashing move. Um, it's it's really nice. It mess it. Excuse my language. It pisses me off, to be honest. In my other characters, where you're, you're chasing somebody, you're beating them down, and then the mofo will jump in the air and and just dash off like the shit didn't even happen. You know who you are. It's a lame skill, and I'm jealous you have it. Um, Demon's Dance. That's more of a martial arts script, as you can read up at the top. <laughs> um, so that's something that you'll get in little drop, and you can uh, right-click that, learn that, and that can be one of the you know one of your skills that you've learned that you put down here. Uh, let's see, and of course these are as you go up, these are more instances and more in other places. Uh, you'll also find this one. Uh, as you can see, these are just in different places over here. This one's in Yanyu Villa. You'll catch the drift as you get going. And then, of course, there's a big instance where you'll get some dash moves. Um, and I think you also get a wall running move from Twilight Village, uh, if I'm correct. One of these guys drops it, and you can get it from him. Gently, y'all. So, these are all the little instances you can do. You get another one from Green Cloud. Just hey, check back with me. We'll be doing some little videos on what these are like and things like that with our guild Zen on a different server. Uh, so that's kind of the flying skills that I wanted to talk to you guys about. They're over here in factions. You go down, do an instance. The instance for the Salt Gang is gonna be across the pond. You gotta go. You gotta go across. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go over here. Take the boat. Take the boat here. Go over here and you fight. Milk it. All I'm gonna say on that. The schools, which is why we're even here talking to this guy who was rude, interrupting us. He's gonna tell us about the eight major schools. Now, of course, there's Shaolin. I've already joined them. Wu Dang, Emmy. The Shaolin and the Emmy are the only schools that restrict you based on your gender. Shaolin only accepts male disciples and Emmy only to sex oh my gosh to sex accepts female students. You can tell what's on my mind. Um but everybody else uh the beggars I think is the only faction that requires you to have a profession. Everybody else you can just join. You can just join all these guys. It doesn't even matter. These motherfuckers right here though these dudes right here get on my last nerve you know who you are scholars those are my people i love them they do good things uh and that's pretty much the eight schools i don't want to go too in depth we can get in depth on these later on what the each one of these do but they're kind of like your classes so in in each one of these you want to make sure like i believe that the the scholars are more of support i think the front one is going to be your tanking the falling flower single sword is your tanking Boundless Sword actually is a two-sword uh, uh, class within inside of School uh, Scholar. So inside of that, you've got all these different ones you can be. This one, these guys actually will help replenish your uh, energy here. Um, Leisure Kick's pretty cool. Uh, it's it's it's. I wouldn't say use it in PvP. I get my tail whooped when I use this in PvP. It's not really great. I would mostly stick with Falling Sword, Falling Flower Sword, for pretty much most of your overall questing. If you go Scholar, okay. I'm sorry I went too deep into Scholar and didn't really touch on anybody else, but that's the one that I know the most about. Uh, I believe somebody in here can give you. Looks like Wu Dang's pretty good for for tanking. Somebody in here is a healer. I can't remember which one it is. I'm, it might be Emmy. That's the healer. Reduce injury for group ranged effect. I think this is healing. So, uh, group recovery and group damage. This all they they, as you can tell, the different schools are classes. So you've got your tank, your DPS, and your healers. So just choose which one you want to go with, and this guy will actually take you to your school if you want to visit other cities um i'm gonna go ahead and travel to the oh my gosh where are you guys the shaolin area it's gonna take a little while so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna come back I'm gonna come back to you but this is another little cool feature you riding this little thing well i got ladies oh one's underage but 
you can pretty much ride this little thing to each town and city and and it's nice you don't really have to touch anything you just kind of let it go and it's cool so all right i'm gonna let him get to the shaolin place show you guys just a just a little three minutes of that place show you guys where you can go and talk to guild people um and yeah we'll be back with you in a minute wow and i'm back so pretty much we're here at the uh the uh wow well, almost scholar the shaolin area for for schools and whatnot so we're here doing it big um i probably want to go up here to find out some news but this is pretty much the Shaolin area. Everybody has their own area for their school. Um, and this is also where you're going to go and talk to, to the people about your guild. Now, the way you can find your... Not necessarily your guild, but the people you want to talk to. You want to talk to the guild administrator. Not so much the guild guide. He just tells you pretty much what I'm going to be telling you. You can go and talk to him if you want to. Maybe some of you guys are like Shard. Love, you're not telling me enough. Okay? You're just not telling me enough of the facts. Go to see this guy. He's right up here. You can tell by clicking that life shifu basic functions. No. Missions. Missions. So if you click this little button, it's gray right now. You can't see nothing. Click it again, boom, they pop up. And that's where you're going to go. But you want to talk to the guild administrator if you want to, you know, check out some guilds, see if there's anybody you want to join. You can also uh, support some guilds, which just means kind of like, you know, back in the days of WoW and whatnot, you would need some guild signatures before you could actually become a full-fledged guild. Same thing goes here. You need a few people to be like, hey, I want to definitely be in your guild in order for your guild to be fully and functional. So I'm going to show you guys that. It's going to be a long run, so I don't know if you want to listen to me talk about this for the next hour and a half. It's not really an hour and a half, but look at your face. We're probably going to probably be running for maybe like two or three minutes, but if you don't really feel like watching my guy run all the way there, you can always fast forward. But I'm going to stay. You know what I mean? I'm going to talk to you, keep you entertained, keep you liking what I'm doing. No, no need to leave. No, seriously, don't go, don't go. I'll miss you. And then, what will I have? You want to know what I'll have? Nothing. Because you're gone. So please stay. I mean, it's the Shaolin area is really cool. You've got everybody running around doing stuff. No, no ladies here, so it's kind of a sausage fest. I mean, uh, uh, it's a video game, so I really could care less. Um, I'm not getting any in a video game. I've, 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 I'm at home for that, so, uh, we're, we're, really, let's just focus on where we're going, which is the guild administrator, so, but I, I do like the Shaolin, they're really cool, you can also repent if you do, you know, wrong things, wrong doings, and, uh, Get, your, get back in a good standing. I wouldn't do too many bad things with the Shaolin, though, because it can take a long time to repent sometimes. Upwards of, like, two to three days worth of you not being able to play the game. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. You hear me? Frustrating. I want to... I want to... See this... Bill? What the... Bitch? Where are you going? You don't just get to roll up... And, hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold an entire phone... I'm about to turn on my PvP. Instead of being at peace, I'm going to go hang you, and I'm going to bust this girl's face in. Like so. Mmm. Take it. Take it and enjoy. Oh yeah, on top of you. Doing work. What? Get up. Nope, you're stunned. I'm going to punch you in the face. Punch you in the face. Enjoy this. Oh, she blocked it. Oh, she blocked it. She's bl I'm about to die, y'all. Oh, okay, good. Everybody else is here. Cool. So I just look like a little girl in front of my my friends. You guys. I'm going back to peace because I, I got rolled on. I got rolled on something vicious. Man, she is just kicking everybody's tail. I'm going to go back in here. Probably die. And... Huzzah! Oh boy, oh boy! 
Oh, she's gonna be pissed. She's gonna be pissed. Don't run. Don't run, girl. Take this ass over like a G. Like I almost didn't. Uh, uh. Okay, so I'm, I'm a jerk face for doing this to this poor individual. And she just got hit in the face. Oh, she healed. She healed, y'all. Let me just be quiet and fight. Hold on. Run! Stop it! Stop it! Just, just, just get hold on! And she's down for the count. Now, what she was trying to do was steal some scrolls from a school. I don't appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? You get rolled on when you try and take, uh, well, you know, scrolls and whatnot. But either way, either way, this is where you go talk uh-oh uh-oh we could be in trouble everybody so we're gonna heal up as fast as we can before she decides to hit me again and she actually is just gonna hit a patrolling disciple we're in luck so now I gotta get in there and pop up on that ass again to the face. Sorry guys, this is taking a while. She was supposed to not get up and she got up. And I'm a little upset that she got up and she flew off. She flew off. See, that's that stuff I'm talking about when they fly off. Oh, there's another one here. Guys, I'm really sorry about this. <laughs> oh, this is a great day for me. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. You're pissing me off, brother. See? It's that Tangman people. You're making me mad. Why is he running? Please don't run. Come back. Dude, come back. Come here. Come here. Come here. Wait, 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 wait. Just right there. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. There's too many. This is why Meridians help tremendously. Okay? I wouldn't be able to even stand toe to toe with any of these people if my Meridians weren't working. Oh, shit. My bad, dude. Whoa, I'm sorry, dude. Oh. Alright, I'm about to lose this battle, that's for sure. Oh, this is gonna suck. I don't like fighting my own people. I hate fighting my own people. They're so darn good at the game. Oh, boy. There's so many people here. Okay. Okay. I look I look like a retard. I I need some I need some wow. So everybody, if you want to fight, that's what you do. You come over to your portrait, you click the shield, attack mode, yank you, and you do you do stuff. Sorry for the really long unnecessary fight scene that you guys just witnessed. In the description down below, you'll see where to fast forward to. I'm embarrassed. That was dumb.
dumb for for nine minutes just fighting dumbly my own people mm. anyway you come talk to this this guy right here with the baller goatee and you can receive a guild uniform and uh, you know they just got a little little uniform for you if you joined a guild I've joined a guild so my guild has a little uniform so I can wear that uniform um you can join or support a guild here you'll click on there it'll bring up all these uh, I believe <sighs> this is where you apply to join a guild and the respond list is where you can help them form their guild so like this little guild here they just need a few more people to help them get started I believe it's 10 I could be wrong but I think you need 10 so then of course here you can join Shu Three Kingdoms you know what I'm saying Dynasty Warriors look it up but that's that's really about it guys uh, PvP you got to see a little bit of that um, how to do that you push like I said push the shield do all that la 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 um, and you talk to this guy somebody's trying to talk to me right now uh, doing a video pimping <laughs> uh, it probably was unnecessary to call him pimping all right so anyway you talk to the guild guy join support upgrade guild all that stuff is here oh, all right I'm done thank you guys so much for watching and sticking through that long video I really appreciate it me and Ariel thanks guys we love you guys appreciate all you guys are doing for us keep subscribing keep watching let's keep it going our green branch age of wushu um oh, what else i want to tell you look for us on what's our server ariel black tortoise is our our uh god this guy's really giving it to me black tortoise is our server we're in a guild called zen um not only that, but I don't know what else to tell you guys. I'm just going to get off this thing because I'm rambling again. We'll holler at you guys another time.